Hello, and welcome to this Sigwin tutorial on Minty, the terminal emulator for Sigwin and other things. Um, I don't know if it's Minty or MinTTY, I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's the awesome terminal emulator that we have, and I just recently discovered a whole bunch of fantastic features that I am here to tell you about today. So let's get right into it. First is drag and drop. So very simply, if you have some text that you want to put into your terminal, either you know from something you want in the command line or in a program running in there, all you have to do is select it and drag it over and drop it. So for example, if I type echo and then I go into my Chrome browser here, select it and drag and drop, and there it is, just like that. Um, let me show you it. and inside the text file. Well, which I already had some stuff in, but I'll do this again. So here, select all that, paste it in. Fantastic. Done. And save. Yes. So what to know about this? Only one thing is that with Microsoft programs, or for example, Word, when you do the drag, it acts as a cut action inside the uh, the source application. Let me show you. So if I take this and I take the quick fox, and I try to actually make sure that's in insert mode, then I try to drag it in. It, ha it is now in this the Minty terminal, but you can see it disappeared from the Word file. I don't know why that is, but that's how they set it up. Okay. Next, dragging files and folders. Uh, you may recall from my very first Sigwin tutorial, I mentioned a few ways you can make it easier to work with files and folders, navigating uh, directory hierarchies and things. Uh, well, here's one more way and it is awesome. So all you have to do is drag and drop and uh, as soon as you do so, the, in the terminal, what gets pasted is the full Unix style path of whatever you brought in, and it'll be quoted if necessary. Let me show you. So, I'm going to close that. I have here a folder which, let's say, I wanted to take a look at this file. I'm going to cat and then just drag it over. As you can see, it brought in the file, the entire file path, and I can easily type it up. And as I mentioned, if the file has spaces in it, then it will automatically add the single quotes uh, so that it can be done without an issue. Uh, folders, same thing. Let's say I want to get into a folder here. So I can type CD space and then drag and drop and then press enter and I am now in this folder. Right? So drag and drop, very easy, very handy. Next up, block selection. Uh, for the longest time, I, I was aware that I could just select uh, any amount of text from the terminal just by dragging until the selection of. I only recently discovered I can select blocks of text, which is fantastic if, for example, you only wanted to take, uh, let's say, you just wanted the dates from a listing of files for whatever reason. Well, all you have to do is hold down on the Alt key and begin your selection and then let go when you're done. And there you have it. You have selected a block. And just to show, prove it to you, here we go, paste it in, there it is. Block of text. Once again, simple, easy, very useful. Now, opening files and URLs. When your terminal has files or URLs listed, uh, displayed, then you can actually open them very easily by holding down on your control key and clicking on them. So let me show you an example of this. Let me, do, let me clear the screen for a bit first. Slash. And I'll hold down on the control key and click on this text file. There it is. It opens up in the default editor, uh, default program. Um, that's assigned based off the file extension. So in this case, the TXD is assigned to Notepad. Um, directories, if you have a directory, which I do right here, empty folder, it'll open up in Windows Explorer by default. So there you go, Windows Explorer, empty folder, as it says. Um, URLs, 
a similar deal. It'll open up with the default handler. So I do have a sample URL here, URL, which is this right here. I will hold down on control, left click, and it opens up in my Chrome browser, which is my, my default browser. Uh, this, by the way, is the official home page of the Minty uh, terminal emulator. So some information there you can read about later. Now, one uh, limitation that I've noticed is that it can't handle spaces in the directory entry name. It's okay to have spaces in the um, path that you're currently in, but if there's something in here with spaces in it, you won't be able to control click on it. Uh, for example, this, this video file here, if I try to click on it, you can see it only selects tries to select just the word answer and then it gives me an error message. Now the workaround, um, if you ever needed to, you can just, um, you know, well, obviously we can rename it, but if something else you could do is uh, create a symbolic link to it that does not have any spaces, uh, which I've already done over here, for example, I have F pointing to that file. So if I just click on F, it will work and it'll work, it'll open up in the default uh, program for that extension type. Okay, uh, last a few miscellaneous items here. Uh, Minty has a built in search. I had no idea. It's great. All you have to do is hold down and press uh, Alt F3, and then uh, you have a search text field here, which I've actually have populated with the word demo already. You can see it has the arrows, so I can click through and it'll find every occurrence of what you type, case sensitive, in your entire uh, scroll, scroll bar history, which I think by default is 10,000 lines, so that's quite a bit of searching you can do. Um, and you know, as an example, I can do here the answer, right? There, another example. Um, so that's that. Uh, the other, another thing is uh, being able to resize both the font and window at the same time. So I mentioned before in one of my earlier videos that you can hold down on control and then use your mouse wheel to resize the text in your terminal. You can also actually use the minus and plus signs to do the same thing. Now, what you can do if you wanted to is hold down on control and shift and it'll resize not only the text but also the window to match. Like this. Very nice. One last thing, if you um, like using uh, reading the man pages or working with editors inside your terminal, you, you might find this one quite useful. Uh, pressing Alt and F12 will do a flip screen, uh, which lets you look at the um, command line um, uh, briefly, at, and then it'll, by clicking a key, then you can go back into whatever it is you're working on. So, for example, let me go back into that text file. And now if I press down Alt F12, it displays the command line, well, again, the bash shell. And if I hit any key, then it goes back to my editor. So handy if you're working in an editor, or even if you're in the man pages, for example, man minty. So same deal, Alt F12, and there is my previous screen again. Uh, so that's it. Um, I have here some references, so again, the official website where you can read some more, and the man page, which is where I read up on a lot of these features that I'm presenting to you now. There's actually many more. Uh, I just pulled out what I thought were the coolest. And that's it. I hope you enjoyed this and find some great value in it. Go minty it out. All right? Bye now.